So it's now three three in the morning, as you can see here. I think in two hours we have to disembark the ship because we arrive Faroe Islands, and there apparently we have to drive off to some maintenance on the ship, and then I can roam around the islands for a couple hours. So I tried to get to some nice location that I know of. And I didn't know that I uh, that I will have the opportunity to go there, so I'm not exactly sure where it is, but I will try to find try to find out, and uh, hopefully it will be nice.
have a nice place, but very cold. Just go here from Toshav uh, to Saskatchewan. Really nice place. It's like a lake. Uh, a big mountains all around. And the sheep are moving around. And uh, there are some uh, ponies I saw. And little birds. And it's a really cool place. Uh, but it's quite cold and windy. And I don't know if it's very livable out here. But yeah, really nice landscape. You saw from the drive, cool mountains, and you see the snow on the on the summits. It's really nice place. Maybe I can go to some other places as well. But I need to hurry because the uh, ferry will move on very soon. Because this is just a far away and we want to go to Iceland. Of course. I think that had the this thing here, the hoodie, looks really weird like it's so big but it holds up really warm so it's quite good but even even worse i look with this one on like that i mean that's just ridiculous because it's so big like there's so much room it's crazy see that anyway I drove back from Saxon to Torshaven. Unfortunately, my my uh, suction cup for the for the GoPro dropped off the car. And these are the remains. As you can see, the GoPro survived quite well. I only got some scratches here and there, but it totally destroyed the suction cup. It just flew off and actually looks pretty painful when another car or something drives over it and it just shatters into pieces. So I guess the first thing when I'm back, when I'm in Iceland, the first thing I have left to buy is another suction cup to put it back on the car and to capture some stuff but luckily the 
the GoPro still works fine, which is good. So that would have been really a pity if the most expensive part of all this thing would have been broken. I think this costs only like thirty dollars or something, so not that big of a deal, I guess. GoPro, good job with the with the build quality of the device. I mean, just these few scratches after such a fall from from a running car is quite remarkable. So, really, thumbs up for this one. And uh, yeah, hopefully, it will be of good service in the future. And hopefully, I can manage to use the suction cup more appropriately. I don't know if. I don't know if it was my fault or if this thing is just too loose. Usually I just press this thing down and then and then I push this guy down like that and then I was under the assumption that it would uh, fit snug and secure but I don't know maybe I just didn't put it on correctly. The cover of the motor is a bit sloped so maybe it doesn't fit on there. Maybe it needs a really flat surface like a window or something. Uh, or maybe there was too much dust on it, so yeah, maybe this is my fault. Um, I have to rethink my attaching approach the next time I try this. But yeah, uh, pretty nice to have such a damage uh, within two days of the trip. Hopefully that will be the last thing that breaks. Tomorrow we, uh, we will finally arrive in... Uh, Iceland, west side, west coast, and uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that because I'm quite sick of the boat ride already. It's uh, there's not much happening on the boat, so should be good to get the feet on stable ground again.